All right, uh, so today, December 2018, we are here with one of our Team New Vision selling partners, Eileen Matthias, who's been with the team for four years. So every December, I like to have this conversation, having a reflection as to how life has been, right? Our team system now, we, uh, we launched our team system in 2007, and I remember back then in 2007, it seems like we are the only one to talk about team. Today, 2018, launching to 2019, it seems like everybody talk about team. The other day, I go online, I see a picture of hundreds of Cobalt Banker agents standing in front of the building saying this is my Cobalt Banker team. The wow. Remax office, same way, right? Hundreds of Remax agents stand in front of the building saying this is my Remax team. Mm -hmm. This is my Century 21 team. Well, uh, let's, talk, uh, <laughs> let's talk about, so here in our team, when we talk about team, what we really meant was uh, is each individual person in the team has a specific role in that transaction. Mm -hmm. uh, we talked about before we did this video, I checked with our marketing department. We have about 2,000, Eileen, this month in December 2018, and we are still at the beginning. We have about 2,000 prospective buyers and sellers. And as you know, in the last three weeks, we booked 40 listing appointments. Right? In fact, we are the only company that book buyers and listing appointments to our team. Well, anyway, those are all the pitch that we share to the agent outside, but now we want to hear uh, from your real story. Yeah. <laughs> so what's your story looks like? What's life uh, before and after, uh, you know, and how does the team system, what does the team system means for you personally? Mm -hmm. um, so I, I started, could I name the company? Yeah, we're, okay. we're like, you can do whatever you want. Sure it, has, it, like has to be, it has to be as real as possible. You oh, know why? Okay. Because most people think what we are sharing, the, the team system, it sounds too good to be true. You know what? Every day I get phone calls from agents. You know what they're saying on my text message, uh, direct, uh, you know, Facebook message? It sounds too good to be true. How can it be? Do you really book a buyer and listing appointments or are you just giving leads? Because my Remax office also giving me leads. They're talking about the lead stream. The Cobra Banker, the Threadfin, the everybody talking about this. We are not, what are you talking about, right? So yeah, we want to be as real as possible. Yeah, this is yeah. unedited raw format. Yeah. <laughs> so let's go back, let's restart the whole thing again. <laughs> <laughs> so so Eileen, can you share your life, uh, your experience, your what does it mean for you personally uh, before and after you and your family? I know when I first met you, I think you are single or, or at least no kids. Yeah, I was married, um, but I, I didn't have kids yet. Now I have now two. Now you have two kids. So life has completely changed, right? Yes. So let's talk about that. It's been crazy <laughs> with two kids. Um, yeah, I mean, prior to joining uh, Rudy's team, you know, we I, I worked with a company called Keller Williams, as a lot of people know about. <laughs> um, it was, you know, we did a lot of door knocking, cold calling, um, you know, learning how to prospect here and there. But it's not the same um, as when I started here because it's completely different. Um, you know, working with a team, you're handed leads um, and then you're supposed to work your hardest to make sure you convert them and close um, and establish those relationships. Um, because we're not door knocking or cold calling, we have more time to work on our skills, um, become better negotiators, uh, become better uh, communicators with our clients um, and just be a better agent basically and uh, so it's it's made a huge improvement in my lifestyle because I'm not pulling my hair <laughs> every day cold falling or door knocking um, I can actually spend time with my two kids more than probably the average mom can you know I don't want a 9 to 5 schedule um, you know, just the other day, I took my daughter to a park like that for lunch, and we spent like an hour or two there. It was just, you know, little things here and there, like the luxury of just spending, having more time with your family um, is uh, definitely a benefit of and the flexibility of working in, in this team. So I, I think it's huge, and um, I like it a lot. <laughs> Thanks to Rudy. But uh, how does the lifestyle look like? So every day you wake up, what's the day to day your day yeah. today schedule looks like? Oh, by the way, just for the records, 2018, how many homes did you close and in a, how many homes did you sell this year? Um, well, this year I, I had my baby, so yeah. I was uh, I just came back. I was out for two, two, three months, two to three months. Yeah. Um, so this year I 
closing close to um, 13. I, something is something around there. Yeah, 13 transactions. Yeah. So you're closing about one transaction yeah, a month, month. Yeah. Uh, in 2018. And in when did your second baby born this year? Um, September 14. So you actually took uh, three months off. So, mm -hmm. so that's that's the lifestyle that we are talking about, right. Eileen. You know, most real estate agents they get into the business thinking of, uh, you know, because they are attracted with the flexible schedule, like you said, making more money. But then in real life, it's not like that. Most real estate agents they get stuck when they go to training, yeah. as you mentioned in the Keller Williams. It's not Keller Williams. It's not unique. Any other traditional right. model. When they talk about training, their training system is basically, as you said, prospecting. But the, the training system is trying to find new customers. Right. So because the team system that we set up here, it allows you more time, not just more time with the family, which is so awesome. Isn't yeah. that the reason why you get into the business to begin with? Yeah. Right. You don't want to be the slave or, you know, uh, can you imagine uh, before you get into real estate, when people knock on your door, you run away. Now you have the person who's actually knocking in the door. <laughs> That's weird. Yeah, right? exactly. But not only about you have more time with the family, which is awesome, but you actually have the time to, like you said, improve your skill. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? Improve your skills. So, so there's a professional and personal life that we are talking about. Right. Professionally, you improving your skills. So now when the client's working with you, for example, let me ask you this question. Uh, in the past, four years ago, when you were with... Uh, KW, when if I'm the buyers, I'm looking to buy a home, if I go to you or any average, any typical agent in KW or any real estate office for matter, like right now, if I call random real estate agent right now mm -hmm. thinking of buying a home in uh, Alhambra, San Gabriel, Pasadena, Orange County, Irvine, what do you think? What would you or a normal real estate agent back then, you were four years ago, what kind of homes are you showing me? Like where are you going to find me homes that I see? Sure. Uh, on the MLS back then, right? right? Yeah. On the MLS. Like even today, 2018, if mm -hmm. I call a normal traditional agent now, mm -hmm. they'll just look at the MLS. You see what's the problem with right. that? Yeah. The, yeah, I the problem that's what is everyone I already, else is doing. Yeah. yeah. And and the, the technology is so advanced now people are finding homes themselves on Redfin or Zillow or other real estate websites. Yes. So what else are we you know, what else is an agent good for if, if if the owner if the buyer can find it themselves correct so now the power of syndication is so powerful the moment the house is on the mls that means it gets syndicated our mls now crmls uh -huh. it gets syndicated to fifteen thousand end user website right redvin zillow and thousand of other website yes so now the customer already see online so if what the agent do just emailing them homes homes that the buyers already see online mm -hmm. then what's the value that you as a real estate agent bring to the transaction yeah so, so now because of the team system you're able to have time so let's share about your experience now when we talk about professional right we go to professional then we go to personal professionally what does it mean for you so um, because you know we have a team Set up that's working on like the paperwork and the marketing and all we have to do is focus on the clients um, once a buyer calls us and wants to look for a home since I'm here in person April um, you know we're not just sending them like list of homes that they can find on Redfin or Zillow um, we're actually proactively looking for homes for them that's um, expired cancelled homes that are coming soon um, you know for sale by owners um, foreclosures, bank-owned properties, uh, things that they probably would not find on their own. Um, and this is thinking outside the box because we have to be inventive, we have to be creative. Um, we, you know, we want to stand out because we have to provide value for our clients um, than what the average agent is offering. So. But I can hear most real estate agent asking question now. It's like, wait, how do you get paid? This is where the training comes from. Right. Because Eileen, don't need to do any more co calling, prospecting, door knocking, what we do every day. By the way, we are doing everyday training, but what we do every day on the training, we focus on the skill level. So instead of relying the income based on the commission offered on the MLS, now Eileen know how to set, negotiate, and collect your own fee. So now you are not entitled to the commission that's on the MLS. So now the whole ray or inventory opens up. Right. For sale by owners, new construction, foreclosure, yeah. expired. Now there's more. Yeah, exactly. Um, in fact, today I'm actually 
going to schedule um, a foreclosure property to show one of my cash buyers in San Marino. So I'm, you know, that's one of the the competitive advantage that we have is that we do. Yeah. We we can show a home that's not on the internet, not on the market, um, and if it, you know, we can negotiate our own fee with the seller. So, yeah, and that's huge. That's yeah. the intellectual because you don't need to worry about looking for customers. Yeah. See, this is the problem, I mean, Most real estate agents, so that's why the reason we do what we do, we want to help. We want to we want to elevate uh, the real estate agents community in our area. Yeah. Right? Because most real estate agent here, uh, they have to focus on chasing the next deal, trying to find the next customers. Right. Now they, they neglect improving their own skill. Can you imagine if you go to a doctor and the doctor spend 80% of their time looking for the next patient instead of improving their skill. Exactly. <laughs> that would be like scary. Yeah. <laughs> right? Okay, so professionally, you're talking about you becoming the better agent, the reason because you are mm -hmm. able to think, you have to be, uh, are, you focus on the training, improving on yourself. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's why uh, the clients actually willing to pay you more, not only be because, now think about it, because you are able to show something that they cannot get anywhere else, what about income-wise in the last uh, before and after? What was the average income before as far as uh, mm -hmm. percentage? Like how much you get paid before when before you joined the team? Uh, not only I'm talking right. about, yes. Yeah. So you, you get paid based oh. whatever the MLS is getting. Oh, right. Basically, yeah, yeah. right? That's what I mean. Yeah. Which is about like two, two, two and a half, two, something two like that. Half. Right? Yeah. Today, uh, today, how much you are, uh, how much you get paid typically on when you represent the buyer? Um, I think the highest was three and a half. Three and a half yeah. percent. Because price is only a factor in the absence of value. Mm -hmm. What value are you bringing to the table now? Right. Right? Just finding properties not on the internet. Yeah. Homes that we cannot get anywhere else. Yes. Mm -hmm. What does buyers want? Buyers want homes. Yeah. So if you are able to show homes that match my criteria that I cannot get anywhere else, yeah. then that's it. That's the focus. That's the value. Yeah. yeah. That's okay. really good. Now. Let's go back. You touched a little bit just now about personally, right? So mm -hmm. let's talk about because you have a lot of stories for in the past <laughs> four years, right? You and your you and Dave, your husband, and yeah. and Maya, the kids, and stuff like that. So what the team system allows you to do in the last four years? Um, I mean, it, it allows me to have more uh, flexibility and uh, have more bonding time with family, and you know, my kids are. Growing up, you can't take back time when, when they're still young, um, while they're still like you. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, but yeah, and so it's it's so important and critical to just have family time. Um, and then me being out for two or three months, uh, coming back and I already have appointments set for me, like I didn't have to door knock a phone call. That's pretty big too, you know. Uh, most people, they lose their momentum because if they're out for so long, they have to start start all over again. It's like starting all over again. So you have to start cold calling again, start going off again. So being the same, it's, it's different because you can come back and you know they they have appointments for you. Again. And that's that's huge because yeah. most real estate agent income are all cost. Right. You know, one yeah. month they can be good, but if they are good, they are closing deals and stuff like that. That means they stop their prospecting. So what it means is that once those close escrow, now usually their income is on the downward cycle because now they have to redo the whole prospecting yeah, all over again. Exactly. So that's the that's the cycle in this business, and that's crazy. Mm -hmm. And that could have been solved properly. So the way the team system works is that each individual person. So we have our marketing department right. while while you are away for three four months with a baby, <laughs> our marketing department still work 24 hours a day, seven days a week to generate the, the, to generate more prospective buyers and sellers. Our inside sales team still calling, checking the timing motivation. So by the time you come back from uh, three, four months away, uh, taking care of your family with the your baby and stuff, by the time you come back, it's as if, not as if, but we literally been working, we, the entire right. team, been working while you're away. It's just like your body, you know? So there's the left arm, there's the right arm, yeah. so every, every part of the body. So the team system is kind of like a body. Each person has its own role, right? There's the ears, there's the eyes, there's the hands, there's the legs, right? Yeah. So the same thing here, our marketing department role 
focus is only to generate prospective buyers and sellers every day. That's all they do. They don't do anything else. Yeah. Fanny runs that marketing department. That's how we are able to generate over right. 2,000 yeah. prospective buyers and sellers calling mm -hmm. us every day. Whether Eileen is away with the family, the marketing department continue to run. Right, exactly. Right, so, so and then our inside sales team continue. We, it's so while you are away for four months, the inside sales team actually we are preparing the clients. Right to get you, the buyers are ready. Yeah. Just get all the sellers prep ready. So by the time you come back, so that's why it seems like popping up on your calendars appointments. Right. Mm -hmm. Can you describe? Because it's uh, from your perspective. If you're talking to a real estate, if you're talking to yourself to Eileen back in 2000, you know, four years ago, like what would it be? Because it sounds too good to be true, right? Like you literally showing up, wake up one day and look at your calendars. Mm -hmm. Buyers appointment Monday at three o'clock. Sellers appointment Tuesday at five. It sounds too good to be true, but can you share like really your day, what time you wake up, taking care of the kids? Like if literally, yeah. in order for you, you are netting. You are netting a lot of money. You are netting six-figure income, but typically, but what's the life? We are not, you are not the only agent making on, on a thousand in this business. There's a lot of KW agent, Century 21, Cobalt Bank agent making a hundred thousand. But you know what's different? The difference is you have the life, yeah. right? So, but let's talk about that. Like what's your day-to-day -day life looks like? <laughs> so I mean, I, I wake up pretty uh, early around 7, 6.37 with um, my daughter and the baby um, and then my mother-in-law comes in around 8.30 so I get going around 9 um, with calling all the uh, leads and following up um, for like 30 minutes to an hour um, and then uh, making sure that everything in escrow is going okay uh, with the ones I have in escrow and then um, and then going to the appointments, the buyer appointments, making sure I have the homes um, set up to make sure I can show them some homes at the moment when I'm you know, at the appointment with them, um, and then have off-market deals for them to show to them also. Um, so that and then showing, and then after that, if I have appointments later to show homes, or um, if I have you know, listing appointments here and there, just to prepare for those appointments. Um, so everything is just really negotiating or um, helping people, helping buyers find homes. Um, Typically, yeah. when do you go back with the family? Like, are you working nights I mean, and weekends? not every day. It's yeah. not. It's not a, like a structured day every day. It changes. Um, but like, um, but I could, you know, I could be home all afternoon and then, you know, sh show homes like at night because that's when people. Um, are home from work, right? So, um, so yeah, it, it just every, every day is not the same. Like it, it varies. Um, but what I'm saying is, like you could be home like in the afternoon and spend time with your family, and then at night, when my husband has more time, he can watch the kids, and then I'll I'll go and show homes like at night. So it, it changes, you know, and vice versa. I could be showing homes in the afternoon and be home by like five or six um, to cook for dinner. I mean, it just you know. Um, when did you first get your license? Uh, 2010. So 2010. Okay. Yeah. So 2010, you joined the team four years ago, 2014. Yeah. So, so when we talk about training, you mentioned about training just now. Every yes. real estate companies uh, say or claim to provide training. So how was your four years? Because now it's a fair comparison. You've been the traditional way for four years and you've been with our team system here for four years, mm -hmm. right? So when we talk about training, what was the training looks like, the traditional real estate way versus our team system here when we talk about training? Because everybody talk about training, you know, so it's hard. I understand. If you're a real estate agent watching this, it's like, oh yeah, my company have training too. In fact, I do every day. Yeah. Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> you are not talking about apple to apple here, yeah. but uh, from your uh, perspective, what was training before and what's training now? Uh, training before, uh, you know, it was um, very fundamental, like basic um, handling, how, basically how to prospect, handling clients. Um, but I'm just but, curious though, Eileen, mm -hmm. when you talk about how to prospect, because I see their schedule when I go to the Cobalt Banger, the Century 21, the KW, the other Remax office, I look at their training schedule, it sh literally show prospecting and stuff, but I'm just curious, I really don't know. Yeah. Uh, so what they teach, like, what is there to teach when we talk about prospect or cold calling? Yeah. We'll just pick up the phone and call? 
if I, you know, if I can, I mean, I don't do door knock, but I guess I can visualize. I imagine if I want to train people, if I want to do door knock, I guess I just go and door knock. Yeah. <laughs> What's there to teach? I mean, you just know, this is side note, but I'm just yeah, for my own. I mean, honestly, starting in real estate is very overwhelming because they they overload you with so much information um, that you don't really you don't know where to really you don't have a sense of direction. Um, so yeah, they, you know, they they teach us contracts. They teach us how to. How, how to prospect you mean like yeah prospect um, and then the other like day i look at my facebook yeah. the other companies doing a training their agent talking about social media and stuff basically in a nutshell bottom line all their training is basically uh trying to find customers mm -hmm. <laughs> but it's just i was like wow what's there to talk about for mm -hmm. uh when people teach you cold calling yeah what, what is in a cold calling class looks like <laughs> I think the whole class is not about cold calling, but it's just how to find clients, basically. There's so many ways, open houses, and um, cold calling, door knocking, expires, first sale by owners, like uh, your sphere, like, you know, they're teaching different ways on how to get clients, basically. But at the end of the, at the, end of the day, it's the result. Right. You can do whatever you want, but mm -hmm. what's the result, right? So in the last four years, here with no cold calling, no prospecting, no door knocking, how many transactions you literally met over what hundreds of thousands of dollars? Do you remember yeah. how many transactions you closed in the last four years with no cold calling, no prospecting, no I don't nothing, the, no marketing expense? I don't remember the exact expense. amount transaction, yeah. but I, I've you know pretty consistently like done over twenty per per year. Yeah. Um, yeah, and hitting the six-figure mark, which is pretty awesome. I've never done that working at Keller Williams. So and and, and that's I thought Keller Williams is a hundred percent split. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, I think when you're a new agent, it's not. Well, I mean, I don't know. Yeah, it's changed. Sorry, yeah. Keller. The cap, <laughs> yeah, the campers, right? Hundred yeah. percent. But then the yeah. point is this: uh, you literally net because this is not gross income. The reason it's not gross income because you have no expenses. What's the only okay. expense you have? What's your exp if I look at your checking account now? What's your expenses? Uh, just, just the office. Uh, it's, yeah. You pay for marketing, advertising. No, I don't pay for any marketing. <laughs> <laughs> right. So literally, we are talking about net, net, net income. You literally net over four hundred thousand in the last four years with no cold calling, no prospecting, no door knocking, and yeah. that's amazing. Right. That's amazing. Okay, guys, if you've never been to our team, Eileen has an appointment here. And so Eileen got to go, but let's wrap up with this. If you've never been to our team, we're inviting you for a backstage tour of our team. All you need to do, call 626-789-0159. Do a uh, Eileen will do a backstage tour so you can see how the team system actually benefiting you, benefiting the clients. At the end of the day, if it doesn't benefit the clients, it's not going to benefit you. Right now, there's so many real estate companies coming up with all kind of weird stuff. But if it doesn't benefit the clients, if it doesn't benefit the buyers and sellers, there is no way you are building a business on sand. You got to build a business on a solid foundation. When we talk about solid foundation, is how does it benefit the consumers? Then it benefits you. If you've never been to our team, call 626-789-0159 to meet with Eileen. Eileen is going to meet with you over breakfast, lunch, show you how the team system works. Meet with me or anybody here in our team. Other than that, make 2019 be your best year ever. And Eileen has to run. Is there an appointment <laughs> now? Is, I think, is that what you're doing? Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. Okay, guys. So make 2019 be your best year ever.